Hi, Donna from WebEx Events here. In this video, I'll go over the import templates in WebEx Events. After completing this video, you'll understand where to find the templates and how to use them effectively. WebEx Events uses spreadsheet templates to export, add, or update information to save time and effort when setting up an event. WebEx Events makes it easy. The import functionality is a great way to effectively add and manage large amounts of data in the event and avoid having to allocate people to update single data records one at a time. Multiple features have import and export capability with similar functionality. In this video, I'll demonstrate with attendees, also known as users, and review sessions. For more information, review the Export and Import Attendees and Feature Content Knowledge Base article. It's important to note that the main similarity between all import templates is the Instructions tab. In addition to instructions on importing, this tab includes column explanations, examples, import notes, and more. Always review the instructions before importing. Let's go to Attendees. Click Attendees, located at the top of the navigation bar on the left side of the screen. There are several options on the Attendees page. You can import a list of new attendees using the Import button. You can import a list of sessions to add to users' personal agendas using the Preset Agenda button, which is unique to the attendee imports and isn't covered in this video. And if you have existing attendee data, you can export the list before using the Import button previously mentioned. Let's first imagine that attendees were personally invited to this event. To get the template, click the Import button. In the modal that appears, click the Download button. It's a good idea to download a new template for each import to make sure you have the most up-to-date instructions. Open the file and review the Instructions tab, and don't forget to review the Notes and Tips for vital information, which is different for each import. Fill out the spreadsheet and save it with the same name. Then go back to the Import Attendees modal to upload or drag and drop the file. Notifications display with the progress of the import. The list of attendees appears on the page. Now let's imagine that additional attendees have been invited as virtual participants because we changed the event from an in-person event to a hybrid event. Now the existing attendees need to be flagged as in-person and the new attendees flagged as virtual. Click the checkbox at the top of the attendee list to select all attendees. Then click the three-dot icon that appears in the upper right area of the page and select Export. Click the Notifications Bell icon and the Click Here to Download link in the notification message. Once again, open the file, review the instructions, and pay extra attention to the notes. Don't delete any columns and don't change any existing unique identifiers. In Person is already populated in the Attendance column for existing records. Now add the new attendees at the bottom of the list. Leave the unique identifier blank and enter virtual in the attendance column. When done updating the spreadsheet, click the import button and upload or drag and drop the updated file. The new attendees display within the list. Now let's quickly review importing sessions. This works the same as the attendees import. Click the Import button to download an empty template, or select all sessions, click the three-dot icon, and select Export to export existing data. Remember to review the import file data before the import to avoid errors, such as duplicate records or data for features not yet created. For example, if the speaker's feature doesn't exist, the session import can't have speaker data.